On the grid, shade the region comprising all the points whose coordinates satisfy these inequalities. So let's start with y is less than or equal to 2 plus 2x plus 5. So that's got a y-intercept of 5. It's got a gradient of 2, so a long one up 2. And then going the other way, and drawing the line through those points. A solid line because it can be equal to as well as less than. Next, let's draw y, 2y plus x is less than or equal to 6. So I'm going to rearrange that a little bit. 2y has got to be less than or equal to 6 minus x, or y is less than or equal to 3 minus 1 half x. So it's got a y-intercept of 3. A gradient of minus one half, so that means along two down one, along two down one, along two down one. So that's going to look something like that. Again, it's going to be a solid line because it can be equal to as well as less than. And then finally, we've got y has got to be greater than or equal to 2. So that is this line here. That's where y equals 2. We need to shade the region. So let's just remind ourselves it has to be less than on the blue line, so below the blue line. So that's anything here. That's below the blue line. It has to be less than less than the green line, so below the green line, and it has to be greater than the red line. So the only way all of those are true is this little triangle in the middle here. And then part B, we need to work out the area of this triangle. So to work out its area, I'd like to know what its base is and then what its perpendicular height is. Well, to get the base, or to get any of those, I want the coordinates of each corner. I want the coordinates here, I want the coordinate here and the coordinate here where they all intersect. So let's get those coordinates of the base, first of all. So this one here, it looks like it's 2 from my sketch, but I'm just going to double check that. That's where the green line and the, um, and the red line intersect. So if I substitute the 2 into the first equation here, I get 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus x is 6. So yes, that coordinate is the coordinate 2, 2. Now let's focus on this coordinate over here. So that's where the blue line intersects with the red line. So solving those simultaneously, I get 2 equals 2x plus 5. So x is minus 1.5. So this is the coordinate minus 1.5, 2. And then finally, the third intersection point is where the blue line intersects with the green line. So if I substitute this into here, I get oh crap, no space. I get two lots of the two x plus five plus the x equals six. So 
So x is minus 4 fifths. Substitute that back into either of those equations. I'm going to put it in the first one to get the y coordinate. So two lots of the minus 4 fifths plus the 5. which is uh, minus 8 over 5 plus 5, which is 3.4. So now we've got those coordinates, we can work out the dimensions. This here is going to be 3.5. I know that because this bit is 2 from here, this bit is 1.5 from here, so 2 plus 1.5 is 3.5. The height of this triangle is going to be 1.4. I know that because the y coordinate here is 3.4, the y coordinates here are 2. 3.4 take away the 2 is 1.4. So the area of this triangle, a half times the base times the height, and we get 2.45. So that's the area of that triangle.